uh, we got more information about the anger first. Uh, we talked uh, the definition about the anger in the, in the second, we talked how we can, uh, what's the factors, the main factors that we got anger. Right. And the third, how we can manage and control the anger. Right. You, uh, all uh, people talked about these issues, especially Asma and you. Yes. Uh, gave, more, gave more information about these three uh, points. Well, I wanted, I wanted to review so that yeah. everybody here now is yeah, on the same yeah. page. Yeah, just uh, just I remember this uh, some points uh, how we can uh, manage the anger. Okay. Um, yeah, you told me uh, first to, we can we can control anger by uh, by counting from one to ten. Yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, this is one this is one point, and the second uh, we. Uh, and Asma said, if we are stand, we should sit down. Yeah. <laughs> when oh, that, we got anger. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, why do those, why are those things helpful? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what is anger in us? What, what is it? I think um, anger is a natural, natural uh, response uh, to um, perceived threats and cause your body or release um, adrenaline, your muscles to heighten uh, and your heart um, rate and blood um, pressure to increase your um, sense and might feel more acute and your face and hands flashed. So however, uh, I think anger uh, becomes a problem only uh, when you don't manage it in a healthy way. Okay. So I think anger isn't always bad things. No, it's uh, not. But, uh, You're right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, it must be handled appropriately and consider the purpose anger um, serves and the based um, approach to anger management. So, and uh, being anger can help you share your um, concerns. Uh, it can uh, prevent others uh, from walking and uh, over you. It can motivate you to do something positive. The key uh, is managing your um, anger is a healthy way. So uh, I, I say it, um, anger isn't always bad. Um, you and are I right. think it's sometimes good. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's sometimes good. For example, um, um, when um, the students don't pay on your license and uh, their license and don't uh, mm, read the license, and here um, the teacher feels anger on them. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and here right. is good for uh, all of his students. And when a mother or father anger on um, him or her children when uh, they do. Um, they do something wrong and here is also um, anger is good for them okay so yes yeah. anger anger can be a gift to us and what makes us angry it's really important to understand that it is an absolutely normal response to being disappointed. Okay. Do you know what being disappointed means? Yeah, yeah. Yes. What is it? Uh, when we lose uh, everything, and by example, especially uh, when we trying to give something, we lose it. I think this is... Yeah. When we <laughs> have an expectation of yeah, something yeah, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. it doesn't happen, then we get angry. And the expectation just doesn't always have to be a surprise. I mean, you know, the expectation, for instance, you guys in Afghanistan now um, had grew up with certain expectations. And now, you know, there's a whole other set of expectations, which are, I imagine, pretty disappointing in some ways. So it's okay to be angry. The question is, what do you do with it? 
because nothing changes unless we have energy to make it change. And anger is raw energy. So when we are angry about something, it's an indicator. It tells us, okay, the way things are right now isn't good. And I can't just, you know, squash my anger in someplace and hide it because then it's going to attack my body. It's a physical, emotional, chemical reaction. So if we try to ignore anger, it makes us sick eventually. And there's lots of medical research that shows how different suppressed feelings make people sick as they get older. Um, so it's not a good thing to do. It's, it's harmful. And anger is positive energy. So the, the, the most important thing to know about anger is, okay, how am I going to use that energy positively? That's a good, oh. question, good basic question. How am I going to use that energy in a positive way? So an example from Western civilization is the women's vote. Women were not allowed to vote until somewhere in the early 1900s. It was 1919, I think, in the United States that women finally were allowed to vote. Women finally got their own voice in what happens in this country. Women worked on this. Women channeled their anger about not being heard for at least a hundred years before that. And finally, you know, it happened. And it was huge. It made an enormous difference. Uh, I know that I am not terribly knowledgeable about the Quran, but I believe there is a passage in the Quran where there was a woman whose husband um, sort of separated himself from her and this was when the prophet was still alive. And Allah answered the prophet and said to that woman, you are right. Your husband cannot put you into limbo. He has to listen to your needs. Um it's uh, 6 colon 152. Now, when I look things up in the Quran, I don't know what the numbers are referring to. I never find them, but this is the citation. And it's not, you know, they call it Sharia law, but suppressing women is not, is not a... Uh, tenet, there's that word, tenet, is not a rule of Islam. It's an interpretation. And you guys have, have the right to be angry and to act lawfully to change the situation. Kazi, I know, like I said, I do not claim to be a, any kind of accredited interpreter of the Quran. But I work often with the Bible. And I know that some of the principles that are stated in Scripture 
They're moral imperatives. They are truth. And we can live by them. So I am taking that liberty to point out to you guys that if you read the Quran, which I know you do, these matters are dealt with very compassionately by Allah, who is compassionate to everyone. I mean, I had not, I would, did not know the Quran before I started working with so many Muslim people uh, on Living Peace Now, and I felt that it was important for me to read it and begin to study it, and I have. And my overriding impression is that in the Quran, even more than in the Hebrew Testament and in the New Testament, the Christian Testament, Allah is such a compassionate and forgiving and loving expression in the Quran, way more so than in the other two books. It's, you know, it's part of Islam to figure out how to lovingly create good situations, fair situations, loving, just situations. And anger, your deception, your disappointment is an energy that you can use to learn. And we're all in the process of learning how to make life better and fairer and more loving and more kind and more peaceful. That's what we're all studying and working toward. So that's your job too. <laughs> um, so if you want to object to anything I said, go ahead. Yeah, just uh, I would like to say one thing. Yes. Uh, I studied the Holy Quran and uh, I'm studying in this day. Every Muslim, there's uh, every Muslim have to study Holy Quran. I know. Uh, every yeah. morning for one hour. Right. Uh, that's the rule of Islam. I think if we studied the Holy Quran, we we will not commit mistakes and we will not commit the uh, the problems in, in, in society. Right. Uh, the Holy Quran can control the Muslims in our society. If a person studies the Holy Quran every day, uh, he has control of, uh, on ourselves. Yeah, right. that's the, and the insight. Uh, that's one point. And yeah, the awareness. And it's not just control; it's awareness. Do you know, yeah. Do you know why? Do you know why? Why? Because uh, the I think the ninety percent uh, Holy Quran is talking about the uh, psychological issues. How, how we can live in society, how we can uh, uh, know about the people, how we can uh, use positive, how we can stay positive. The Holy, all the whole, uh, the Holy Quran talk, talks about these issues. And the Holy Quran doesn't talk about this, how we can make money and how we can go other countries. Just, right. just awareness, awareness inside. Yeah, yes. and just... Yeah, just make how control the pan and the side, yeah? Yes, right. And all comes from inside. Peace yes, is yes. inside. It's yes, who peace is we inside. are. And that's what our awareness needs to encompass. And who yeah. we are is love. And, I mean, I know that there have been several times in world history that people have mobilized love in one form or another to create peace. I'm thinking most recently of some of the Arab Spring activities in North Africa. That was, by and large, it was a loving, peaceful revolution. That worked. 
that was powerful. Um, in uh, the 1950s, Russia was trying to invade and crush a little country called Estonia. And it was part of the culture in Estonia, it still is, I think, to sing together. And the people of Estonia, when the Russians came with their tanks, they, the whole population of the small country gathered in the central plaza of the capital city. And they spent days singing while the Russians tried to make war. The Russians couldn't do it. They had to leave. You can't crush love. You know, so there are examples of people who realized that and used it. People who were angry, who mobilized in love and actually, you know, totally destroyed any attempt to take them over. Those were, I think, really inspired moments. But they demonstrate that love is more powerful than hatred, than hostility. And they demonstrated that angry people who are determined not to be suppressed, you know, can go within and find loving ways to express their absolutely legitimate desire to be respected and to live in freedom of expression. Now, do I know how to, how to tell you to do that? One, two, three, four, five? No. <laughs> <laughs> and these were not, you know, acts of a single person. But Sayed, that photo that you sent, with all those students sitting there with those placards, with those signs, we want peace. That was a powerful image. Yes. You know, that was them expressing, hey, you know, stop trying to step on us. We want peace. And so, you know, what do they want? Do they really understand what they want? The more you discuss it, the more you build it, the more you talk about it among yourselves, the clearer it will become. And that's, I mean, ultimately, certainly now in your country and actually in the world, but your country is a nice little compressed example right in this present moment. That's kind of what has to happen. The people, particularly women, need to stand up and say, no, <laughs> we need to be listened to. We need to be supported. We need to be honored and respected and not suppressed. And that's really the, the point of the struggle in Afghanistan right now, is that that has to happen. Because if it doesn't, there's going to be a lot more suffering because of the suppression. And I don't know how we who are in the world around you, not with you, how we can be helpful, but we are certainly aware that we can be called upon and we are willing to help. But the energy, the anger has to come 
from you guys. And it's going to come from the younger generations. That's a very big charge, isn't it? Uh, yes, obviously you were right because I am uh, undoubtedly I am agree with you because anger uh, it's come from the you know uh, it uh, it is basically comes from the uh, uh, in our uh, negative mind but uh, from the anger uh, we can compare or we can able to uh, uh, we can able to compare this anger or disappointment or the depression we can say about the depression you know. So, whereas the depression uh, uh, comes into our mind, then we can able to create something new ideas or some new thoughts. It, it is called the innovative writing or the creative writing into our mind. So, therefore, right. if, we, yeah, if we think that no, depression is bad and uh, the person is now uh, feeling himself or herself in depression and uh, uh, whether he is now uh, in a deep depression, so it is not that uh, he or she is feeling bad or feeling very lousy or feeling very uncomfortable uh, in himself or herself. But therefore, I I wanna uh, I wanna say that when uh, depression comes in one's mind and. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, besides both depression and anger will come uh, in someone's mind. But therefore, we should overcome this problem. And after overcoming this problem, we can able to uh, go through the uh, go through the positive mind, and we can create something new ideas and information, uh, new ideas and new thoughts, and uh, we can innovate something new. Creative writing, the, though now uh, I, I am an English student, I'm studying in English literature. Therefore, if I think that no, I am now, uh, uh, I, uh, I am now uh, feeling myself in quite depressed. So depression may become uh, anytime, anytime it will come. But the main fact is if I think myself whether the depression is calm or not and uh, if i think no no i will cut off this or i will uh, uh, i will uh, neglect or i will uh, um, uh, ignore ignore this subject no i will not ignore this subject because if i ignore the depression the depression will come again and again. So I have to be with the depression. And after the depression, then I will obviously create something new ideas and some new thoughts, uh, therefore in anger and both depression. So depression and anger uh, is a kind of part in our day-to-day -day life. And depression and anger will obviously come in anyone's mind. And we have to overcome it with, uh, with our positive power, with our positive mind. And therefore, you are saying about our Islam, about our Quran, because in our Quran, it has been said that um, uh, my brother, Sayyid, and uh, my sister, Aisha, also knows that uh, there is an ayat. There is an ayat in our uh, Holy Quran. Uh, I want to, uh, uh, can I say in Arabic, Professor? What? Can I say in Arabic, Arab, in, in an Arabic word? Yes, go ahead. Okay, Arabic sentence. Uh, in Arabic sentence, it, ha it has been said in our Holy Quran that, Inna Allah ma'as sabirin. Uh, it means that those who have the patience in their mind or those who are patient, and Almighty Allah is always with them. Almighty Allah is always with them. So we yeah. have to be patient. Yeah, we have to be patient. We have to be more powerful. We have to be more strength in our mind. So whether we know that if we are not able to keep our powerful condition into our mind, then we will become weak. So we don't uh, support the weakness ability into our mind. We will support the powerful dignity, the powerful ability, so that we can able to enrich our uh, enrich our uh, skills, our strength, uh, so that we can overcome any kinds of anger, then depression, then any kinds of negative power, because it is right. most important. Perseverance, yeah. patience, perseverance, patience, then... Uh, uh, so, uh, so reading, 
study a book so in our holy quran the first word is iqra the arabic word is iqra it means in english that read read right. by, by the read by the name of our almighty allah read by the name by, by your almighty allah so we have yeah. to read more and more we have to read more books we have to read more not only english book we have to read many some you can say mathematical books or economics or social science psychology different, different books yes obviously so it is depends into our mind if one thing if anybody think no i will not go the i will not go to the positive side i will stay in the negative side okay let him do the negative side i will not support you but i will obviously support the positive powers i will obviously support the almighty allah i will obviously support my islam i will obviously support being a muslim i am a muslim i will obviously support the islam because i love islam i love my prophet uh, sallallahu alaihi wasallam i love the almighty allah yes yeah, yeah. okay because... aisha wants to say something i think okay 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 Hey. Yeah, teacher, because uh, um, our brother Kazia, um, it's uh, show a good point, and uh, he um, read a good ayah, and uh, in Allah ma'asabirin, yeah, it's good, and it's, uh, I, I like this uh, ayah, uh, Allah Jalla Jalla who said in this ayah, in allah ma sabirin uh, or in allah yuhibb sabirin yeah on the other ayah allah jal jalalu who said i like i love um, sabirin yeah it means uh, who um, patience on the problems i like them and i i i uh, i will be with them uh, and it's um, good and it's um, maybe um, benefit for all of muslim and it's a good uh, point to um, all of muslim um, can um, power uh, for uh, give uh, give for all of uh, muslim uh, power uh, point and i, I, I yeah. yeah yeah and that's i think part of the essence of this is yeah. that islam is a wonderful teaching you know that really does teach people humans how to express the divinity of allah how to be powerful in yeah. that expression and it's your tradition and so you need to find you know and follow where it is in your tradition it's it's a muslim issue yeah. in in that in your country and you guys have the teachings and the strength to know how to follow the quran and you know create the kind of social justice that you know christians are working to try to create according to our scriptures and you know and the jewish scriptures we need to learn more about the quran and its teachings i think because when you say as i know muslim teachers do that the quran completes and complements the jewish and christian scriptures i believe that's true but we don't know about it and so that's something that you can give the world i would like to say something teacher yes go ahead yeah uh, i would like to talk about the current situation in, uh, in afghanistan mm -hmm. uh, all words no 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 bad knows better all world people i'm sorry all world people know better about afghanistan yes. and these days afghanistan has the the critical situation in the world uh, because uh, we uh, one thing more we have peace and uh, we have a good life in in this uh, in this time uh, but one thing we have some financial and economical problem uh, because uh, the 
the UN and international bank and other associations they cut the the mm -hmm. the helping helping right. with Afghanistan yes. and uh, all my especially I would like to say about uh, my students uh, my girl students they have some jobs in many in different places but right now they are jobless and they 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 can't pay the the college payment and they right. leave right. the college and they leave the center uh, I had. Uh, 100 girl students but unfortunately in these days uh, i call them why why you why you why you don't come to the center she uh, answered this question to me teacher we don't have uh, a taxi uh, a money for taxi and money for payment right. to go to uh, college and go to the center right. this is one reason in afghanistan last day the the un says uh, UN said uh, in Afghanistan, the people of Afghanistan they face in a huge, uh, a huge poverty, and also in 97 percent people they have uh, economical problems. But uh, we have we have a government in Afghanistan right now. I don't talk about this government is good or not good, uh, but we have peace. Uh, we don't have killing. We don't have explosions in these days. Uh, we is, have completely yeah. peace in Afghanistan. <laughs> Uh, but uh, all Afghans, we we have to support this government, and we yes. have to change them. Yes. At one point, the, the Taliban, the Taliban doesn't allow to girls to go to schools and go to college. Uh, in previous time, mm -hmm. they didn't allow. But right now, the Taliban allow the girls to go to universities, in uh, college, in schools. That's a good find. But unfortunately, uh, a huge problem is the economical problem because right. the girls doesn't have a jobs. And the girl doesn't uh, right. does, doesn't support doesn't pay the college. Right. This is the problems. But uh, in these critical situations, especially every day, I say people they sell the equipments and tools at homes, for example, like furniture and other things, just for food, mm -hmm. just for right. they, they yeah. yeah they sell the homes. Uh, I think this this bag me every day. I don't like to out from from my place. And when I say these people, and when I say uh, the women, they bagging, they are bagging on the roads, and just for food. And uh, I requested from 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 people uh, from the world people, they should support Afghanistan, and they mm -hmm. they they don't allow Afghanistan in this critical situation. If they allow, maybe the the people of Afghan Afghanistan maybe join with tourists tourist groups maybe they they occur they committed mistakes and they committed uh, criminal actions but uh, muslims and especially muslims uh, good muslims are allah tabarak wa ta'ala says and i'm sorry prophet muhammad peace upon him says uh, good muslim is a person who has two things one is patient and one is uh, uh, thanks shukur yeah yeah. yeah. Shukur and sabr in Arabic. Shukur and sabr. Uh, shukur means uh, thanks from God. If you have eyes, yeah. you should thank from God. If you have hands, you should thank from God. Yes. And one is uh, mm -hmm. sabr. Sabr means patient. Fashion is most important. If a, if a Muslim doesn't have patience in every aspect of life, he's not a complete Muslim. Right. In every aspect. Right. But we but we have patience and we are waiting for. Uh, for a good life. Right. And you need to let the government know in, you know, in loving ways that you want Afghanistan to be a successful country. That, yes. you know, that you are supporting them because that's their job. And, you know, it's, they can't, just like Trump couldn't go against what a lot of people feel very strongly is important. They know on some level that they have to make peace within their country as well as with other people. And that's what the world is waiting for, is to see some evidence that they're, they're aware of that. So it's up to, it's Im imperative on people in Afghanistan to communicate that message to 
the people that are in charge. Hey, you know, we want to support Afghanistan. We want to support this government. We want to be a successful country. Yes. And yes. here's what we need. You know, and they'll get, they'll get the message because that happens. You know, they, the people in power when, I mean, yeah, the, uh, the kings of France in the 18th century, they didn't get the message. And look what happened to them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yeah. what's going to happen to the Taliban. You know, if they don't get the message. So communicating the message is really important. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they're yeah. getting it these days. They, they, uh, they, they're trying to give uh, more respect to folks. And uh, one thing that uh, I, we, we are Muslims uh, and all people of Afghans, Afghanistan are Muslims and we love peace, not just in Afghanistan, right. in every place of the world. We don't like this. Uh, this is Islam is just important, and uh, we right. should uh, we should work for Islam. We should work for all world people. Yes, we we don't we don't think and we don't uh, think negative. Right. Uh, because, I, I have because, been very yeah. impressed with that. Yeah, and I agree with you, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love all positive people. They have a positive mind. We we love we love them, not just Muslims. Mm -hmm. Every person, we exactly. are trying to bring peace for all worlds. That's the that's the way of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Yes, uh, and we we should work together. Yes, we are not we are not follow the fighting. This is one point. We we don't like mm -hmm. war in the in the world. Just I follow this. I follow peace in our world, not not just in Afghanistan. Right. But one thing I don't know: some some countries some countries trying to. Uh, bring terrorism in Afghanistan. I don't mm. know how we can control this. Some people trying to make us like a terrorist, but we don't like this. To make you what? Terrorist, yeah. I'm not getting what the word is. Uh, professor, uh, uh, Syed terrorist. wants to, uh, want to terrorist. Who wants to uh, make violence? Violence. Creating violence. Yeah, uh, I don't well, we like don't want that either. <laughs> I mean, you know, most people do not want violence. And that's one of the principles that Living Peace Now is built on is, hey, we want peace. People want friendship and peace. And, you know, whatever governments say, that's not what most people want. So let's speak up as people. Let's get to know each other as people. Let's become friends as people. And then it'll be a lot harder to make war. It's very simple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we, we like to share ideas with all the world people. Yeah? Yes. Uh, especially me. If, if the world people give a chance to me, uh, do you like uh, peace in Afghanistan without other country? I reject this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, but but I expected from I expect the same from the other people to follow me like same. Exactly, yeah. and so yeah, so that's why you're part of Living Peace now, and I'm delighted and very <laughs> yeah. and very glad. Tasmia, you. you've had yeah. your hand up. Tasmia. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have some questions. I want to ask that how to overcome depression and anger and sadness in a par in personal life because I'm going through in uh, hypertension now for my personal reasons. Uh, I have a good news for all of you that I have uh, selected in Bath University, one of the top uh, and good uh, uh, private universities among uh, Bangladesh. Uh, but uh, I, uh, I'm not sure I can admit there or not because I, uh, I don't have my professional certificate still now. So that's great problem. So I am in hypertension right now. What we're going to be at? Great. So I want to know how to uh, overcome hypertension, depression, sadness, and anger in personal life. I I wanna ask something to Tasmia. Apniki, itu mane meeting ta session pori ke apni free thakbe? Yeah, yeah, I'm free. 
ওকে আপনার সাথে একটু আপনার ইউনিভার্সিটির ওই টিউশন ফি এর ব্যাপারে একটু কথা আছে আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে ওকে আচ্ছা ওকে ওকে প্রফেসর WhatsApp I will uh, talk to you ওকে ওকে প্রফেসর আর ইউ ক্যান স্টার্ট নাও थैंक यू ওকে ওকে um okay so i don't know what you said but could you enlighten me <laughs> oh, uh, professor i was i was saying that uh, i want to know the about the tuition fees of uh, the renowned university about brack university uh, whereas uh, tasmia is uh, studying right now so uh, i i want to know about the tuition fees no, only studying brother i only selected and i'm not sure i can admit there or not because i don't have my professional certificate is still now they are creating a mess because of that professional certificate i don't have so i don't know what to do okay okay so basically tells me i was going to say first thing is knowing what anger is and what depression is depression is despair it's when you've been angry and you've squashed it and you gave up mm. so to get rid of depression you got to go back to the anger and figure out okay so what am i mad about what am i angry about and it might take you a while if you've been suppressing it for a long time but it's very important to get back in touch with what you're angry about because you can't do anything about it unless you know it so that's step 1 second realizing that anger comes from disappointment that you had expectations that somebody didn't meet so that's where the anger comes from somehow and third that okay short term the things that sayed mentioned at first change your breathing change your position do something physical that cuts the the uh the acuteness the you know the threat of the anger because when you change something physical you also allow your your thinking mind to come back into effect and you can't when you're full of anger or full of any feeling you can't think you know i mean this this is really basic basic stuff but it's true and so you got to give yourself a chance to think and to become aware and then realize that okay anger is good energy use it use it constructively make something happen make something good happen with it and the fact of acting helps you to you know get rid of the power of that energy over you so that you can get back into a place of balance and feel that you have power to make a difference And that's okay oh, thank you so much ma'am that you have uh, a lot uh, i am a little am i am sorry people i am from british i'm sorry teacher uh, my name is my name is zemra i am from uh, turkish okay but i am students uh, medicine students oh cool okay i, I have a uh, little this english language because i have uh, this medicine uh, turkish language so mm-hmm. medicine is one of the disciplines that deals with what happens when we don't manage our anger positively that's when people get sick teacher i am uh, here here turkish no i am not a, no no no, no 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 <laughs> okay <laughs> yes okay you should try you should try to learn english soon yeah come on to the uh, english classes say, uh, we can you say uh, brother imra we are yes. we are with you we we will obviously teach you english don't worry about this because we are a life of family <laughs> 
We are like a family. Yeah, yeah. We are like a family. Okay. In this living peace Thank now, we so are much, like a family. Uh, and yep. by the by the grace of Almighty, we can obviously uh, teach Thank and learn so uh, well. by a friend. Yeah, obviously we can learn. A lot of a lot yeah. of people are making very fast Thank progress. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Part of yes. Yes. No, 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 professor. I have, uh, I have professor. students because uh, can you help me this English language? But I have traveled this. You say this study or you say where USA USA. USA. Yes. Have, yes. have you been to the USA? Teacher, I have use I, I am going to you say this university study. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I think he he has a plan to go. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it will be better for you, brother. If you go to USA, then you can obviously uh, learn so something better, learn something more and more better, better ideas and better. Who knows? Um, yeah. Obviously. I mean, there's medical wisdom all over the world. And yeah, yeah. there's good medicine in the U.S., but there's also good medicine in many other places. Thank you so yeah, much, yeah. teacher. You should follow this the medicine the English classes. Study. <laughs> but it's, it's, good, it's good to become fluent in English and participating in mm -hmm. crazy discussions like this is helpful. <laughs> <laughs> no, Professor, I want to say that we are with our brother Imra and we will obviously teach him English uh, what he, he wants to learn from us. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Emma, sign up on livingpeacenow.org and then you'll see all of the discussions and language classes and, you know, get involved. And learn. It's fun. Yeah. I think uh, Tuesday we have English classes. Okay. Every Tuesday we have English classes. Just follow these classes. I think this is most effective for you, teacher Sabrina, Abu, and Zaina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hope we get to see you more. <laughs>